We got a little downtime right now in the middle of the afternoon during bear hunting. A lot of downtime. And we got ticks on us, so we're gonna do this pretty fast, hopefully. You see another tick? Oh, yeah, I just got one on my arm. Okay. This is the tripod 500. We're gonna see if you can set the tripod up the fastest once you sit down at a glassing point. All right. So what are the rules? Just set it up, put the legs out. First one to have their eyes up to the glass. Okay. I am at a disadvantage because I tether my binos. I don't want them to fall out, so I have to unclip them first. I never have my binos tethered. It's a hot tip for me, but I do drop them every he once in a while. He drops the binos all the time. I like the freedom and the mobility. All right. Could, could play, pay some tolls in this race. Okay. All right, you ready? We'll do three, two, one. Go on one. Do we go on one or we go on? We go on one. Okay. Like the beginning of one, like oh. Right, right, nice, right, nice. Say one. Okay. Re ready? All right. The tripod five hundred. Three, two, one. I'm so gonna beat you. Boom. Boom. Oh wow, Brady, you are fast. I've had a lot of situations where I see a mule deer and I have to <laughs> jump over the hill, so I want to be quick. That was lightning fast. But see, I have a little advantage though, because most of the time I do glass tripod, kind of narrow. You shove it around your leg, so I didn't have to go like that, pull it out and do it. So mine's a little faster, but probably a, lot, a little less stable too, for the long run. I'm an under the body kind of glasser. So walk, yeah. walk us through your steps, ready? Okay. Let's, let's go, go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, okay. That's the majority of the time when I'm glassing, I just do like a simple glassing setup, put them in between my legs. If I'm on a hill or I want to, oh, you got a freaking tick. Oh my gosh. Um, a lot of times if I'm on a hill or something like that, I might kick one of these legs out and then put this leg on the side of the mountain then I can kind of lean into it. For the most part, I just like to sit down like this, try to put it in between my legs. And then if I want to go a little taller, since I'm a taller dude, I'll lower the legs. I mean, most of the time it is better to not have your column all the way up like that when you're glassing because it gets a little less stable. So you should use your legs a little bit more. Um, but mainly I'm just uh, in between the legs, tripods set out, and then, then glassing. And I always try to make sure too, I'm not just like having this too low and then having to duck into it and look up. So I always kind of wanted to keep my back straight because if you're comfortable like glassing, you're gonna glass a little bit harder. So more effectively. I like to be underneath my tripod. So I always go to the second widest for all my legs. And then I always undo the first two just because you're gonna need a little more length because it's wider. And then I'll always, underneath my tripod, I feel like I can get it kind of closer to my body. Mm -hmm. Plus if need be, like my back starts getting sore, I can lean back. And also I can put my leg up right here. I have my arm around there just to help with my back. And then I always have the, the thicker center column up. And then I like to have it set where I can most of the time just move it with my face. Just a little bit set so I can just move it around with my face and I don't have to touch it as much. You just grid it like that. One thing I like to do when you're like this, and then put this leg out and I kind of rest one of my yeah. elbows. Yeah, it elbows against it and I kind of grab the center column. Kind of sometimes makes it a little more stable. Kind of put more weight down on the tripod. Yeah, but I'd say those are probably like the two most common ways. Two most common, yeah. The underneath the tripod like this and then just having it kind of straight your body up. around the tripod. Yeah, this way I can keep it closer to my body too. That's kind of what I like a lot. But and I will switch it up though. Like you have to be comfortable glassing. So sometimes I'll throw it out wide, like I said, or like to lean against the hill. And then I'll really kick this sucker up and then throw one of these way out. And then I can kind of like just lean on this while I'm glassing if we're on a hill right here. But And if you want speed, it obviously looks like this way is faster than my way. My way takes a little more time. It might be a little more sturdy. But I want to see that buck before he over so we know if we have to hike over there. he's got the speed. Boom, boom, glass, level. 